I ran through the straps. Bam, 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 bam. And I, I just, for the second, I thought I might get away. But then, out of nowhere, all these police come. Jumped on me and was wrestling with me. And... Get off me! Get off me! They had me. Game over. They led me to a medical centre. I knew I wasn't getting home. The doctor puts the x-ray on this white light. It shows from my neck, all through my intestines. I was loaded up from head to toe. And he goes, aye, aye, aye. Even the police officers were shocked. And the doctor went to me. Pero, hombre, ¿cómo te juegas así la vida? You do know if one of these bursts, you're dead, don't you? So they give me a load of fluid, laxative fluid. Then after, after a while, I can feel myself needing to go to the toilet. I need the toilet. The toilet. And they said, right, you've got to go in that bucket. I said, what? Five minutes later, I'm squatting over this bucket. I'm feeling embarrassed. I'm squeezing my stomach. And it was like a machine gun. As all these pellets come shooting out. Yeah, they hit that bucket. Ba, 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 ba. Took three days to get all of them out. Took me 12 hours to get them in, but three days to come out. And finally, the doctor was telling the police that, yeah, he's, he's clear. So I was expecting some sort of trial, some sort of court hearing. But that wasn't, no, didn't happen that way. I was shackled by my feet and they escorted me out directly to the prison. The prison was in the middle of a shanty town. I didn't know what to expect. I'm uh, waddling along because of the shackles. And as I walk in there, uh, it, it hits me, it's like, wow, it was like a nightmare. I've been to prison many a times before, but this one was a whole different ballgame. UK prisons are like holiday camps compared to it here. I was scared, I was, I was frightened. And then he said, right, get in there and you're gonna sleep on that floor there. There was people everywhere, it was overcrowded. It was like, it's inhumane living conditions. And then, <laughs> and it was time for lights out. You see the lighters. All over the place, people are smoking crack. And amongst the flickers on the walls, you can see these cockroaches crawling all over the people's backs and over their faces. At that moment, everything closed in on me. There was nowhere to go. I couldn't escape my demons. I couldn't escape the nightmare I was in. I couldn't escape the place where I was. I hated myself because I was now locked up abroad. I was now one of them people that I'd seen on the TV years and years earlier. I was now living that nightmare.